Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera. We got Douglas in the house. We we're on the final stage of the 50. We're sanding it down with a 400. Um, Doug is doing the inside of the door on this side. He'll probably end up going over and doing the door on the other side. But I'm going to do one panel on the front. I'm going to start on the fender on the other side, and we're going to show you one panel, what it has to look like or what I want it to look like before we paint it with single stage urethane. What color was that? <laughs> You'll have to stay tuned and find out. What do you think of the second guide coat? It's different. Sticky? It's hard. It seems like it's hard to get off. I thought the first time was hard to get off. Huh? I thought so. I thought it came off right the first time. Okay. Maybe it's because it's 400. Spread the color around. Oh, I don't want to take I'll get, I'll get, I'm going to get rid of that 220. You got 400, right? Hey, what's going Doug? on? Yep. Don't, 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 don't use for 220, please. Please. Just a reassurance. <laughs> yeah, really. I want to get rid of this 220 in here because well, I'll leave a couple pieces, but. No, I have. I don't want to get involved in that. If I find a spot that needs extra sanding, I'll use 220. I'll yes. follow it with these wonderful 400. I'll get that out of your face. An old piece would be great. An old piece. Did I miss a spot? I know I did. I did. I know I did. Mm -hmm. Time consuming, that's for sure. Oh um, man. Seems like it took forever to do that. Alrighty. So, um, what I'll do is I'm going to probably end up leaving Doug with the smashed up face. <laughs> it's not smashed up, Doug. You love this face. Dry. I know you well, do. walked in this morning and seems like, what happened, Doug? <laughs> Was your eye was eating some stuff of that, out of that car? Is uh, I got to fight with the kangaroo, I said. Right? Oh. You know. Um, I'm going to leave this stuff probably to Doug and Jolene, if Jolene probably will help after a little while. She helped do the inside of the doors. Basically, I did the outside of the car. I'm probably going to grab the DA with the 400 and do the exact the same DA? thing. DA? Are you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So I can grab the DA. I generally I just I want to see what it buffs off like by hand, and then we'll go maybe see what the DA does. Because in all honesty, um, I don't feel like I'm going to be straightening it out with the 400. Hi, it is sweetie. what it is, and it's going to come be. over and say hi, my girlfriend. Come up, sweetheart. Come on over and see me. No. Do, 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 do. Sanding, sanding, sanding. on the 400 right now but what I want to do is I want to check out what it's going to do hand sanding it basically Doug's got a couple pieces of 400 sandpaper there I sure do uh, <clears throat> All right. if you do not know how to rip paper got the lengthways like that just only those for that you know obviously are fresh just kind of fold it in half I just like to have a paint or something to rip it in half Then you get a piece of hand paper, you fold it three times. One. There's two. But you get three pieces of paper. One, two, three. So when when I go to sand this, I mean, I'll just sand, start sanding right here to see what the guy coat sands like. But in all honesty, uh, I want to I want to be swiping like Jim says. It's not swipe, what do you call it? Sweep. I'm gonna sweep it, swipe it, whatever. And, uh, and do it that way. Now, come take a look, please, here. You can see the 220, the real fine sand scratches in that. You can see those. Now you see in the in the up here in the gray where they're where they're starting to go. It, that's where we want to get it. We want to get it like that. And and to me, that sand's nice. 
if I don't know what Doug's talking about. Maybe we didn't finish the inside with the 220 and he had to scrub through all that and that's why he thinks it's hard. I'm, I'm positive of it. See that there? Well, you see that? To me, that has to be sanded out, you know, just to make sure. And it can be, there's primers there. We'll have to make this thing white again, make it look all pretty. You can see all the sand scratches in there. You see how fine that is. That's what it shows you. And that's, that's just 220 scratches, because we primed, we did the 80 grit on the primer and the filler, that was the first time. We primed that, so there's no more 80 grit. The 80 grit is gone. Now we're on to the 220 grit. What? 400, or we're on to 220, the sand to 220 with the 400, excuse my licorice. And basically this is such, such a, you can see that little, in there? I want to get that and then basically that's the only reason the guide coat is on there to make sure that all that stuff is sanded and that way there we do not have any issues and it all depends on what kind of paint job you're going for too like to be honest with you we're like we're doing a single stage or thing it requires the least amount well I guess you could paint a trim clad and, and just sand it and paint it, but um, doing a, a urethane is a single stage, is the least amount of work you have to do to paint something. If it was base clear, I'd have to step it up and, and, and go another couple finer grits. And um, to find out or to know whether you've got it all sanded right or not, throw a guide coat on it. And when you're getting down to this fine of sanding you really want to be careful with your guy coat not to get it on too thick because it affects the sanding there's a couple different ways I could paint this car um, a couple different ways I can paint it exactly like it is now paint around the hood around the front of the cowl, inside the doors with the doors on, and around the trunk lid, and that. That's probably the way I'm gonna do it because it is what it is. It's right here, it's right ready, it all has to be painted. I'll paint the hood and the trunk lid separate, and that way there I can get this stuff painted, and I can also get the edge of the hood painted um, and have no issues. Same with the trunk lid, but I feel like I'll paint it exactly like it is. But I could paint this, paint the doors inside, paint the trunk inside, Tape it all up, tape, put the door, shut the doors, tape it all up, put the hood on, paint the side of the hood, and then put the hood on, tape the side of the hood, and then put the hood on, and put the trunk lid on, and then I could paint, tape it all off and paint it as one car, I could do that. But I feel like the way it is right now is probably my quickest way of getting the job done. Just paint it already, would you? Well, it has to be sanded down with the <laughs> 400. <laughs> Right? I'm going as quick as I can. Get it sanded down with the 400. We'll get all the scratches out of it. And then we'll go from there. And we'll put a nice paint job on it. That guide kit, well, just touching it, you can see the scratches, how, how just kind of showing how valuable it is. You know, you can say it a million times, but that's how valuable it is. It shows you exactly what's, what's up. And uh, for someone not to guide coat would be a sin. wiping the sandpaper on my pants and trying to get the dirt out of the sandpaper so it works for me.
Doug, how's the inside of your door look? Pretty good, I guess. Oh, well. <laughs> I mean, you can be the judge of that. Everything's Jolene approved around here anyway. So you can get Jolene over here and she'll well, tell you all about it. Jolene approved. The paint will tell it all. The paint. The paint will tell it all. The paint. And anything on this job that we're doing here now, if, you know, if a person wanted it nicer or go and do it, basically you just do it again. <laughs> Keep doing it it's that happy. thing that they accuse me of. Repeat Keep doing it until you're happy. <laughs> you you have to repeat the process of what's going on here again. Repeat it. Well, you have to do it again um, to make it any better than it is. You know, prime it again, lock it again, and sand it again. Whatever you tell me to do, man. Well, I mean, let's face it. If you want to, you know, the best you can do, I guess. Just keep doing it until it's into your satisfaction, until you make yourself happy. I'm liking how the guide coat is standing. You want to swipe sideways on that? I'll, I'll do a little bit on the fender here, and I'll show how. See how? See how I got my hand like that? I got my hand cupped on my. I got my sandpaper like that. Got my thumb like that. Got my hand paper, sandpaper cupped in there between that. And I'm using my hand and swiping that. And I'll show you why here in a second. You want to swipe things. You don't want to... Start finger sanding. This is the, the important stage right now. Um, it's the end. It's where you put all your candy in one jar. And you're taking it over to your friend's place. <laughs> Just trying to get a finger in that groove where it's going up there. Shouldn't have that chain going on, busting the primer, but that's what's happening. Be careful around these areas. You start swiping this way and that way. If you've ever noticed, you look around a key lock sometimes. You'll see somebody swiping that way, that way, and that way, and that way to get around a key. You really have to be careful. I just like to take my thumb and swish it in and out is what I like to do. I just sand it off as gently as possible. That way there I have no swipe marks around my key, around my wiper horn. I called it a wiper horn because it's sticking out. Final sand can make or break you. Sometimes just getting a block in where it shouldn't be, you know. I did, I did you know, see a block in here. You start running the block on this part and get down in that groove and start digging at it. You'll see stuff like that. Come look at this over here. You can see I've got that sanded. See them scratches? They gotta go. And that's the sort of stuff right there that will Make you happy or not happy. That'll make you not happy. You see, just keep going. The primer's been on the car for a while, so it should be good and healed. All right. Now, if I was going to ask you to sand on the car, just want to brush all the dirt off there, checking it out to see if it's all good. If I was going to ask you to sand on the car, um, I would want, I would tell you to grab your sandpaper and go like that, and we'll swipe it like this. It's all swiping back and forth. I am basically with this hand paper. I am not trying to straighten anything. I'm just trying to smooth it off. I, I, I think we're kind of late for making things look smooth or look look straight. I think it's generally in the bodywork, but we just sand it like that. Now, 
if you have your sandpaper and you start sanding like this, don't want that. And you'll, and you'll see what goes on. You'll see them fingerprints like that. You don't want that because then you'll make, when the paint job comes alive, you'll actually see something like that. We want to swish it back and forth like so. Holding flat all the time. And just taking off the guide coat. And that's all I'm going to do to the car from now on. I'm not going to block anything. We're just going to straighten it out or sand it off and paint it. Um, if I wanted to, um, you know, do the best job, the best job I can, I, yes, I would be blocking it out. Yes, I would. Yes, I would. But we have to remember, like, this is a, a $7,000 car that got, we got with a 350 in it with half a good interior. Um, we've got a bunch of glass we've got to cut yet. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff that's got to go on um, to make this car complete. And to be honest with you, um, we're making a driver, not something that we're going to, you know, compete with. You know, I'm hoping I'm just kind of competing with anybody, to be honest with you, other than myself. If I can get a nice flat paint job on this old girl and have her look good going down the road, that'll make me happier than I would be if I wasn't driving it. How's that? So we're just... We're just doing it this way for now. If you're looking for that, I'm the best in the world, yes, block it front to back and do it over and over and over again. Sure, go for it. Not there, don't wanna do that. I don't wanna do that. I just wanna put a single stage on it. Another piece of paper right in there. That one goes dull. And I'm, I'm going to say something. If the paper goes dull, grab another piece of paper. And, and the reason being is you're, not, you're really not going to serve any purpose of using that, an old piece of paper and just keep working on it, keep working on it, keep working on it. Time is worth more than the sandpaper. So if the sandpaper is dull, throw it, get a new piece, you know, the money, you know, you're thinking, well, you think that's the money that you're throwing away? Well, no, the money is, is, is doing the job. How fast can you get the job done? That's where the money is. You know, you're paying more an hour than you are for a piece of sandpaper. For someone to say the piece of sandpaper has taken and blown the price out of proportion, well, you're sadly mistaken. It's the time to take to get it done. That's where the money is. Don't blame it on the sandpaper. Hey, Doug? I got no money. <laughs> <laughs> I got some sandpaper, though. Do you? Yes. Well, I can make you some money. Yeah. I can make you some money. I've got the line on there from before. I'm just going to leave it. Or I'll sand it off of this 400, but I just left it so I knew where it was. Hello, Fina. You can see the, the scratches that I'm sanding out. Ooh. Darn good thing we had a guide coat in it, sweetheart. I never see it. She is wagging her tail, and I never even fed her yet. Gonna get that nice and clean. When when to get this all sanded? Um, there, we, I don't want any bare metal showing. No, no bare metal or any Bondo or anything like that. So I'll probably get a can of just a spray bomb of primer, a lacquer primer, and just touch anything that is not got primer on. We want, I want to have primer on everything. Everything. I gotta sand that out. I'm hoping to. If I have enough product on the car, I'll be able to. If I don't, good night, Effie. Right? Whoa. Huh? Tell me you're not happy. I didn't have enough product on there. Enough product on there, right, baby? Huh? Gotta get it up here now. <whistles> Got it.
swiping all the time. Don't want no scratches showing. Hand sanding 400. Four single stage paint. That's what I'm doing. And if you heard me say it, I'm saying it for the person that didn't. Anyway, any time that you can make get something done quicker by being creative, I suggest you go for it. Why not? What have you got to lose other than not knowing? Everything I've ever, ever done, um, I've taken the chance whether it's going to work or not. And there's a lot of things that I've done that has not worked, but it's put me in the direction of something that does work. You know, as I'm sanding this car, um, there was a time I wouldn't, I wouldn't wipe a car down with anything other than what was told to me when I did, when I took a vocational school of auto body. I, I wouldn't wipe, I had to buy that, that wash down. And then, then it came to a point where I was working and I didn't have it. Didn't have it, didn't want to buy it, and did not want to stop what I was doing. And uh, that's when I thought, what can I use to wipe the old car down? And that's basically where it goes, you know. That's And just because it's textbook doesn't mean it's, you know, that it's always you know, it doesn't, doesn't mean it's the only way to have it done, just because it's textbook. There's many different ways of doing things. And, I like, I've said it many times, the easier and the quicker way, and the most reasonable. I'm not interested in, I don't feel good about spending more money than somebody else for the same thing. It's crucial to guide code in between the 220 process and the 400 process is crucial. And the reason being you've seen it yourself is the stuff that you can't see when you're sanding it um, with the naked eye. Like, you know what I mean? Stuff you can't see. Just want to swipe that off. I'm grab myself some paper because I don't like what that paper is doing. Once we get it all sanded off at 400, everything, we'll peel the paper off. We'll peel it out. We'll try to get it outside and blow it off really good. Try to. And then this, this room here area has to be cleaned. You can, you can imagine what that process is going to be like. A couple of cars are going to have to be moved. Yeehaw! Woohoo! Can't wait. Yeah. Shiny paint for the 50. And then it's still not over. There has to be. Oh, actually, go this way. There's shiny paint for the 50. And then it's still not over. Like, we're not going right, to jump right on it and start, you know, start doing things to it. The hood would have to be. The hood has to be dealt with. Both sides, I'm, I'm thinking. Underneath the hood of this thing doesn't look that great on the black part. So that might have to be dealt with. I'm 
You see the marks and the scratches? Yeah. Wipe them away. Man, there's a lot of 50s out there done, or this this style of shoebox car. There's a lot of them out there done. Haven't seen one like this one yet, though. Have you, baby? Haven't seen one like this yet. Not yet. Who named the, who said the car's name should be Betty? Was it you, Doug? <laughs> That's my car's name, Betty. Oh, your car's name. You're not allowed to use my name. Oh, I was thinking Betty for the, for, the, for the headlights. <laughs> cool call Marilyn. Did you? Louie. Louie. Louie, Louie. I think you were saying you can't name it until it's completely done. Yeah, all right, let's tell her that, Doug. Yeah. Louie. I like Louie. Good one. Yeah, it'll, it'll come by its name, honestly, when it's paintable or not. Yeah. Yeah, it'll come by it, honestly. It feels really good. Um, you would, it'd be, you, yeah, unless you're actually feeling what I'm feeling, uh, the car is very smooth. Very mm. smooth. Right now. Smooth. And if you know, if there's a wave or two, it's not gonna break my break my heart. It's not gonna break my heart. You let me know when I go by. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest with you, I have so many cares that I want to do. I don't want to do just you know, just one car. I'm like, oh. Hundreds of them, if I can, and they all don't have to be perfect neither. They just have to make me happy. There's lots of other guys out there can take the perfect. I'll take the fun, huh? In the art. Over perfect any day. Gotta be careful. Gotta make sure. Gotta make sure. Good to crisscross all the time. So the grain of the paper cuts good. Now, if me and me and Doug Jolene all were together on this starting at in the morning at eight o'clock at night at five o'clock or four o'clock we would be done um, we're not going to have that but it, it's something that could be done today no problem three people swiping on we're not blocking anything to make anything straight we're counting on bad chad for the da work that's what we're counting on aren't we baby that's what we're counting on Yeah. 
Joey's looking mighty fine today. Got a nice little jean pants on. Got a jean shirt on. And black top. Looking good this morning. Hair all straightened. Wearing our little mucklucks. Our big fancy producer glasses. Making sure nothing gets in her eyes. Hey, Doug? Yeah, really. <laughs> Looks like someone said a sharp stick in yours. I'll live through it. You'll live through it? I was going to wear an eye patch today. What is it? Be pirate. Pirate. You could have been the king of the castle, the king of the ship. Is that it? Yeah. You know what you tell a man with a black eye? Nothing. He's already been told. <laughs> <laughs> right? I don't have a black eye. I have a swallowed up eye. <laughs> well, yeah, it's kind of on the verge. Oh. Looks like you were back talking me sometime. Yeah. <laughs> I would be one to back talk. I am a bit hot headed. get this fender done and then we'll take a look at it and then uh, we'll all be the judge I guess we'll all be the judge Spot right there. Hope I got the primer to get her out. Should put another can or two on it. Nope. Yeah. I don't want to sand another can of it to be honest with you. Yeah, I don't blame you. It's a lot of work to take care of the paint. It is. It is. It's a lot it of work. It sure is. You know, it's a lot of work. I love a bare metal look. I mean, yeah. Water. <clears throat> so. That's this this right here where I'm down on my hands and knees and, and we're trying to get it ready to put some paint on it. We're putting single stage urethane on it, right? Probably the most reasonable paint that we can get to put on it and make the job. Do it do the trick. Get a nice coat of paint on it. But that's why people don't want other people touching their cars, basically. I mean, you know, you, you can understand why someone would not want someone to touch their car when you've I've been on my hands and knees for uh, a week um, sanding it to make it look that way um, you have to understand the people that own the cars are not wanting someone to come up and swipe them with their hands and see if there's dust on them or there's dust off them or whatever just not something you do so if you want to respect a body man or a man with a car don't, don't touch, touch it <laughs> don't touch the car <laughs> if you want to show no respect you know what to do some people can't help themselves. They just have to touch. I everything. understand. I understand. You know? But I don't understand. Just teach yourself. And how I learned the trick is I, I, did the, I did the exact same thing what I'm talking about. That's how I learned the trick. I touched something that I wasn't supposed to be touching or I shouldn't have touched. I had no business touching. And it caused the damage. And I learned. Just like that. Do not touch. People have everything all over their hands. God knows. Well, the hardest part of the touch is, is the fingerprints, eh? That's the hardest yeah. because you got to touch it. If you want to touch something, touch it with the backside of your hand. Right? Backside, softest touch. You know, I'm going to touch something, see if it's dry or not. I'm not going to win like this. I'm win like this. Backside of your hand. Not if someone's talking to you backwards. <laughs> you know. wipe this fender off with some special some special mix and then we'll check it out keep that piece of right over there so I know where it's at special mix is right here that's Windex it's not the cheap stuff I shouldn't say cheap stuff it's not the no-name brand it's Windex 
just gonna get a rag and wash it off. Sneaky. You know, you're right there. Good thing it wasn't your bum crack, Doug. That's all right. Everyone's seen that before. <laughs> your whole like, bum crack? Like I can keep my pants on in here, you guys. I don't want to see your bum crack. Up the crack of dawn. Wipe her off here. It's always good to wash your car off because you're going to wash it off to get it painted and painted anyway. So the more times you wash it off and check things out, the better off you'll probably be. Now we're going to put some Windex on this. It says smart choice. It is a smart choice because it is cheaper than, than your pre-wash. So I'm going to wet this fender down and we'll get to see what the fender looks like. I'm gonna wipe it off. Probably should have a cleaner rag, but I'll wipe it off and then you can check it. You can go from that long side if you want. And then we'll see. Do I go over there? Should be down the length of it? Do, 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 do. How's it look? Huh? Now we have to remember there's, a, there's body work here, all along here. For that piece that's stuck on here, he welds a piece here, all on the bottom, along this straight fin, all around here, down here, it had to be worked. Now, what we're really looking for, let's do it again. What we're really, oh, sorry about that, baby. Probably need a bat in the head once in a while, don't I? Huh? Give that boy a bat in the head. All right, let's take a look at it. We want to see if there's any scratch marks in it. Any, any guide coat. I see a little tiny spot right there. See that? I'm not going to worry about it. See a little <laughs> spot right there? <laughs> Chrome's going to cover it. Not going to worry about it. I got one right there. I probably could sand out. We'll do that here in a second. <clears throat> got right here. Got two little teeny dots right there. Okay, mm -hmm. and there's a little dot right there. That's what we got. Now let's just, let's do let's do this. Oh, come take a look. What what do you see? Yeah, scratch marks. There's that, that has to be sanded out. Good, good. She got a good eye, boy. She got a good eye. She got a damn good eye. I've only got one good eye. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get one out. We're just going to swipe over top of that. It's right on the edge of the fender there. It's not, it's not deep enough really to worry about, but let's see if we can get it. Let's see if we get enough product. I don't think you'd ever even see that, to be honest with you. Million years, but. All right, we're going to call that canceled. You see how I swiped it all the way along there? It didn't make anything crooked or anything, just swiped it off. Just erased it. Um, not the one up there, but the chrome's gonna cover it. Um, right here. Not gonna try to make anything straight or anything like that. I'm just gonna swipe at it and try to get rid of them. That's all I'm gonna do. It's gonna be the whole area. Can't just do the little area. Gotta do the whole area. Right? Start digging in those two little holes. I'll have something really to show you. You know what I'm trying to tell you. Grab that rag. Yeah, it's a 400. I'm saying we got rid of that. It's good. Good. Now we go down here. We got one right here. See this? Can you see it? Let's try to take that out. And that's generally why you have that door. See, I'm hitting that door on the edge. I guess I don't mind it. But that door on the edge, I should have tape on that. It's going. A little bit right here. Okay, I'm wipe that off. You can see it. I don't want to take that out. Excuse me for a second. I'll let that dry. I got a little bit right here I want to take out. I'll take that one out. Let's 
graduate there. Anything at all, you see, you gotta go for it. Get my finger in there. That's the stuff right there, makes a difference. Making sure it's gone. And that's with paying attention, basically. And that's the end of it. Paying attention. We'll all go over the car. We'll all look at it. We'll all decide whether it's good enough, I guess. Alrighty, everybody, there we go. We're, we're starting the 400 stage on the 50. Let's take one more look at Joanne's car. And what we're going to do is we're going to do the exact same thing we've done. Twice primed it, guide coat it, 220 did it all off. Exact same thing with this. We're just going to guide coat it and take it all off the 400, and then we're ready to paint. And every stage that we take, I'm hoping that the guide coat makes sure that we do not make a mistake. There's Jolene's floor. It looks... Awesome. I just want to look and see if there's anything coming up on it. We just got a light coat on it right now. I'm kind of painted white right this present moment. I don't want to touch it. Be all white. But uh, the floor looks looks fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah, I'm very happy with that. I probably will do that again. I probably will do it again. It probably won't be the last time. And uh, yeah, it, it looks nicer. I'm, I'm feeling like it's going to do a good enough job that it doesn't require anything else. Um, it's more more show than go than anything, to be honest with you. I mean, we all must realize that. If we, if we think Jolene's going to run her up and down the road <laughs> every day, I, I know I, she don't even run her Corvette up and down the road every day, do you, baby? She won't even run that in the mud. All right, everybody, thanks a lot for coming back. I really appreciate it. Um, what, what am I going to say? Take what you like and throw away what you do not like. If you like the process, go for it. If you like the process, go for it. If you do not like the process, make sure you do it your way to make yourself happy. Have a great day, and I want you all to do me a favor. You have a great day.